Hi, my name is Kyrie Gunnery. I'm here to invite you to a Zoom Muse reading, poetry reading, on Friday the 18th of December at 7 p.m. UK time. Now, if you're in any other part of the world, please look up your own time zone. Um, and it will also be stated on the message about it, what time it will be for the area that you're in. Um, so I am, as you can hear, Canadian, but I do live in the UK. I've been here for about 20 years. Before I moved here, I was focused on doing some songwriting, which stemmed from poetry that I had been writing since I was a child. Now, when I moved here, I got married, I had children, and it all kind of faded to the back. My poetry was revisited at the beginning of lockdown. And it has been like taking a cork off a champagne bottle. For the first time in years, I've been able to write about my process, about what I see in the world, and my observations of everything going on in general. It happens in all different kinds of ways. Sometimes it's just an idea of like a title, and then I move from there. And sometimes it is just getting quiet and I, I hear a first line in my head, I type it down and then I sit with it and ask, where do I go from here? I really allow the process to, and the poetry to reveal itself. It's like they are saying to me, I need to be written. I need to be written. I need to be written. And it, Literally, most of my poems, I get out of the way and just allow them to come. Um, I do use something called word hippo, which allows me to uh, say things in, in a new way. Because I think for me as a poet, I can say the same things over and over and over again, and it gets a bit stagnant. So I look for different ways to say the same thing. And sometimes making it very... Um, visually delicious so something so that when you actually create pictures for people some people are very visual I'm more of an auditory and emotional person so I try to make them emotional but I also realize that there are visual people out there when they hear something it will actually create an image in their head and so it's nice to know that I'm creating interesting images for people yeah. So I'm going to share with you um, on Friday the 18th some of my poetry that I've written over the last six months. And I hope you enjoy it. The first one that I'm going to write or uh, read for you is called Original Skin. I can bring it up. There we go. It's called Original Skin. And this is quite recent. <clears throat> Here I stand before myself, wearing the mask of a stranger. It's not what was imagined when the mold was formed. It has warped through evading danger. I have walked as far as I can go, as others perceive me to be. Now I must stop where I stand, feel the ground beneath my feet. Unearth new weeds that have sprouted, realize their roots run deep, break the stagnant bonds of duplicity, release the rage that's kept me asleep. I have hidden amongst these tangled weeds, they have held my mind in distraction. When I pull one out of the fallow ground, there's a hydra like growth infestation. Must dig down to the source. The inception of the divergence. Kill the doppelganger who seized control at the point of ancestral transference. 
Sorrow for the yesterdays I have forsook. Self-rejection whisks, whisks anger to the fore. What has been dredged up can't be unseen. Can original, can original design be restored? Created in beauty with purpose divine is what it said on the package. Is it possible to aspire to that caliber of being with so much premeditated damage? Align with what was preconceived before entering this dimension. Right the wrongs, get back on course, suck the poison from the infection. Beauty that's been marred is beautiful still with its lines and gouges and scars. It's the map of the journey created in life, a treasure trove collage of memoirs. Acknowledge and remove with divine grace, the resentment that is buried within. Shatter the mask with humble honesty. Peel back the layers to reveal my original skin. So that's the end of my first poem, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you on Friday the 18th at 7 p.m. UK time. Take care. Yeah, 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 yeah.